gentlemen, it is I, it is I, it is your buddy Tommy, hero, ladies and gentlemen, uh, after this intro, we're probably going to have Dirty dirty Deeds on, um, with us as well, seems to be a thing here, plus I, that was in his, uh, bragging rights law. Gentlemen, we are back, and this match is going to be something SmackDown's been doing for a while, uh, helping showcase some talent that hasn't been really been on SmackDown TV much, and here he is, the man... Uh, I don't know if he's face guy, if he's a heel dude, I don't know. But he is here, Luke Harper, creepy guy. What are your thoughts on him, Dirty Deeds? I think he's one of the creepiest guys in the WWE. Um, we're we're going to talk about something later on. We're going to talk about breaking rights, of course, because that's something that needs to be covered. Uh, also, ladies and gentlemen, not on this card tonight is a tag team title match that was promised. 199 texted me earlier and he said... It's because, oh wait, here's a tag team we haven't seen since Rod and I took control. Team 3D, what are your thoughts on uh, Team 3D, Brett? I feel like this is, I feel I feel bad for Luke Harper, as I feel this will be like a two-on-one assault. But yeah, I just heard it's only Bubba. But, still. Yeah, just Bubba, but Team 3D, both of these guys we haven't seen for a while. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I just got a text. Uh, the Ascension apparently are not able to make it to the show tonight due to travel reasons. Okay. So. Oh, man! A hurricane rod right out of the gates by Luke Harper. That's something you don't really, oh, really see I from a big guy like Luke. Yeah, some cheap fighting tactics. Uh, anyways, Dirty Deeds, we have to talk. I didn't really get a chance to talk to you since bragging rights. Um. What are your thoughts going out of bragging rights now? Losing to SmackDown. I gotta say, SmackDown earned it. SmackDown worked their ass off to beat Raw, and it came down to me and Row 99, and Row 99 proved that he was a better man. And now I'm not even the general manager of Raw. Anymore. And, uh... Yeah, I know this. I was just about to say this, but some crazy stuff going down on Raw. Do you regret bringing Goldberg back? Yes. A complete abuse of power. He decides to come back, make him attack me, get Vince to make him the general manager, and then gives himself a world championship in the same night. It's ridiculous. I always knew Goldberg was a bad trouble, and I know the moment I saw him on bragging rights, I knew it wasn't going to be pretty. And now, now he's got to order of protection against me, so now I can't go after him until the time is up. Yep, so you're stuck. So I'm, now you're I'm stuck on both Raw and SmackDown, because your, your agreement to losing, if you lost to SmackDown, is you'd have to commentate on SmackDown too, so. Yeah, I don't mind that, I, li I like SmackDown, I like talking to you. Yeah, it's nice talking to you. It's nice. Me and you have a mutual respect for each other. I just think I have a mutual respect for Brett. Me and Rodan and I don't get along that well. Yeah, but you know what? He puts the food on the table for you. What What are you going to do? Yeah. You have a, 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 I feel like you have a newfound respect for Road 99, or is it that you have to respect him? I will admit, I thought, I thought Road 99 was all talk, but you know what? He proved me wrong. Me and him put on a match for the ages, and it just wasn't enough. Row 99 proved me that he is the toughest son of a bitch in the NXT Cruiserweight division. Yeah, he's a tough guy. And, uh... All the carpet NXT, the definitely. Oh, the disc Oh, wait a minute! Line. Disc is clothesline! While we were talking away here, we missed this build-up. And this could be it right One, now. Two. Three. Luke Harper showcasing. Dominant victory there. Bubba tried to fight, but I think it's the youth and the quickness of Luke Harper. For a big guy, Luke Harper's a quick dude. Yes, yeah, very. he's very quick. He, he's, he can strike out of nowhere. He legit surprises me with how fast... Uh, I'm just wondering, what, 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 brand, what brand is Eric Rowan on? Uh... I think he's... Or is he free agent? I think he's free agent. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's what Row 99 just texted me. 
Oh, okay. That was Luke Harper and Bubba Ray Dudley. Yeah, that was a good match. That was a good match. Definitely a good match, and uh, definitely I hope we get to see, you know, Luke Harper's been a regular on the dark matches, but hopefully we'll get to see him more here on the, on WWE TV in uh, coming times. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get on to your next match. Gentlemen. Oh, no. Don't tell me this is tension. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Don't tell me this is tension. Please don't be tension. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Intercontinental title match. And, uh, hopefully this is not tensions. Oh, no, it's Ty Dillinger. I don't know. Ty Dillinger killed Ty. Yeah, it's Ty Dillinger. All right, we're good. All right. Ty Dillinger kind of killed tensions. But, um, yeah, so this is the IC title match, ladies and gentlemen. I'm surprised Sheamus picked him, to be honest, because I, I mean, a lot of people will thought that Sheamus, he could have picked literally anybody. He could have picked uh, some jobber named Zeke off the street, for all we know. But, um... <laughs> Inside joke, ladies and gentlemen. But, um... But no, he picked Ty Dillinger. See, Sheamus on the last, last SmackDown was in a, a battle royal, and the, uh, the stipulation was if he won, he got to pick anyone he wanted, which he did win. Or, there's five people in the battle royal, including this man, that man, Ty Dillinger, and if they won, they got to face... Seamus, so I guess it's a win-win for Ty Dillinger. All I can say is that... Yes, he ended up losing. And... All I can say is that I'm glad he's not United States Champion anymore, but he still has my utmost respect, Seamus. Well, he did go on Raw, and he did defeat John Cena. Yes, he lost to John Cena off bragging rights, but he did go on Raw the next night. on the enemy brand, and he did defeat John Cena. So. Yes. And it didn't really matter since he I killed the Intercontinental Champion and his and his brand won Dragon Knight, so it doesn't really matter. No. Yeah, SmackDown does have brand supremacy, and that's the uh, like we explained. That's how you got stuck here on SmackDown commentating. So I don't mind being on SmackDown commentary, but it's gonna suck being on Raw commentary and not running the shows for a while or ever. Yeah, I understand. Goldberg, I do not appreciate what Goldberg did to you, man. You've uh, you've tried to work your ass off to get, you know, to get and the show. And all it took was two spears you and know. two jackhammers. That's all it took. Yeah. I knew Goldberg, like I said, I knew Goldberg, like I said earlier, I knew Goldberg was troubled the minute he came in. Yeah. Uh, at bragging rights. I knew it was going to, something bad was going to happen eventually. He must have been pissed off that he didn't do much. Yeah, and here we go. This match is getting ready to start off here. And, and it's underway, ladies and gentlemen. All I can say is that Goldberg is... The Raw is going to be pretty bad for the next couple months. Yeah, I know I made Raw pretty bad, but I was working on the up and up, and now Goldberg's just going to drag it down. Mm, yeah. By having his... Hopefully. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Leg oh, sweep. Leg Beautiful sweep. with a, a roll up onto his feet there. Ty Dellinger, you know, he um, he's had a rocky career here on SmackDown. Yes. Not too much success, you know. But uh, this could be really his shining moment. This could be the moment where uh, all his hard work, because he has busted his ass, but he's one of the biggest underdogs in WWE right now yes he is and now he's going up against one of the toughest competition around in Sheamus yeah plus one of the highly 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 uh probably um shielded men because he's on smack act that elite yes now Sheamus is a former United he's the first and we all know smack sorry go ahead Hmm? I said sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. He's the first. He, he is I know, no, you can go ahead. You said sorry, he's the first. You said he's the first. He's the first champion to to win a title on both brands. First person to win a title on both brands. Yeah. <laughs> eh, that's never happened before. But, you know what? SmackDown proved that they're the better brand, so... Ah. I think there's good things about each brand. I think SmackDown was just on the top of their game tonight. 
that night, sorry. Yeah. Oh, knee to the head, Ty Dillinger is fighting. Oh, oh, he's fighting drop. with all, everything he's got. Oh! Atomic drop. And what is Ty, and Ty He's got a, he's got a fight. Go to the apron. Oh, and then goes back. And he's taunting with the fans. Uh, I think he was just taking and a breather. the fans pumped up. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, and the fans alive for this match. This match is great. Oh! Back suplex! No! Is your monitor behind? Seamus, going for no, white noise. No, maybe I don't know. I... White noise. Here we go. Let's see if he lands it. And he lands it. And sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, but we are back live on SmackDown. We are live. And we're back. Jump! Oh, misses it. Yeah, he's back in, he's back in sync. Okay. And here we go. Ty Dillinger, look at me become the Intercontinental Champion. What do you got to say if Dillinger wins this matchup? I'll be happy for Dillinger. He's, he deserves it. You know, he's busted his ass off. And, uh, you, don't you know, if he wins it, thing about it. I don't know because there's rumors. I don't know if it's true, but there's rumors that Sheamus. Out of nowhere. Oh, we might, uh, we might need to stop talking about Ty Dillinger maybe winning. Yeah. Two. Yep, yeah, that's three. Sheamus, that bro kick out that of nowhere. That came out of nowhere. I was shocked by that. It kind of scared me a little bit. How quick he hit that. Like, one minute, Ty Dillinger was in control, and then second later... Boom! Bro kick. It was a bro kick out of nowhere. That was this matchup. That's why. Good. That bro kick That bro kick is just like the RKO. It's so dangerous, and it comes literally out of nowhere. At yeah. times. Yes. So Sheamus is still and look at that. Still champion. your intercontinental champion. Now what, is, what does this mean for Sheamus at Survivor Series? We'll find out. Yeah, I don't know if Sheamus has been dominant. So we're definitely going to have to find out at Survivor Series. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That was the Intercontinental Championship. And we'll see you guys in the next matchup. Tommy Hero, any last words? Alright, we're just going to have to see what happens with Sheamus, honestly. I... That was insane. Uh, Sheamus is really showing how dominant he is. Yeah. Uh, it, not even just on SmackDown, in both brands. Like, he, he's showing he can be one of the most dominant guys in WWE. Yeah. Let's get to that next matchup, right. ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the next matchup. Now, we don't know anything about this match. We don't know, uh, well, I think, oh my god, it's Enzo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, he's hopping on the mic. First time I've seen Enzo since My name that night is over. Enzo yeah. Amore, and I am a certified G and a bona fide stud. And you can't teach that. Bada boom, realest guys in the room. How you doing? That was. Nice Anyways. Time. We don't know who. We don't know who Enzo's opponent's gonna be at all, though. We don't know anything about this match, really. No, Rowan and I made this match. It was probably Rowan and I. Oh no. Oh, oh no. god. <laughs> oh god. Um, I think Enzo's. Um, I think Enzo made the wrong choice by wearing white tonight. Yep. Because we're oh, gonna god. be definitely seeing some brown. Yeah. He. He. I remember he used to wear that poo emoji all the time. He might need to bring that back. Yep. Just to cover <laughs> up the real. Stuff. The real, the real crap that's going on. Let's get underway with this match, though, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Ryan Cage, you're one of the reasons why I no longer general manager of Raw, but it's okay because you earned it. Hey, you got to enjoy the fact that he uh, he squished Goldberg at Bragging Rights, though. Yeah, but where where he's. Threw him halfway across the ring. I, I saw that and I popped. Yeah, but you know what? I was like, hey, because I, uh. I, what? What? No, you said, you said I, uh, what, first? Huh? You said I, uh, first, so what, what do you mean? No, you said, you know what? Like... Oh, yeah, you know what? I would have gave, 
I would rather have Goldberg go over on Cage. <laughs> but you know what? Goldberg wanted. He at, came to me. He, he's like, I want four million dollars per month. Yeah, no. And Vince McMahon said, "Oh yeah, he's a big man. And he 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 deserves that contract." So I'm like, "Okay," because I don't want to get fired. And then it turns out in that contract, it said that he becomes general manager of Raw and competes full time or part time. And it's like, "Are you kidding me?" I didn't find that out. He came out and attacked me. Yeah. I don't know, but let's focus to this match. So far, Brian Cage is totally killing Enzo Amore. Oh! Oh no, already? Oh my! This match is going to be cut super short, I think. Yep. Yeah, I think it's going to be cut it. scarily short. Brian Cage he's looking it, to make short work of... He's got it, he's got it in. Yep, he's going for the suplex tombstone pile driver. Oh my god, that move is brutal. Every time I watch it, I One, can't really watch it. Two, three. No one has yet kicked out of that move. Nope. Nobody. That move is the B end. That is the B end and all of all moves right there. Yes. Boom! Once again. Oh my god. Man, that was a quick Making matchup. Very, I'm very. Events longer than this. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping it will be. We don't know what the main event is either. These last two matches were left oblivious to us. Yeah, we don't know. We were given no. We were given no detail. Alright, that was Cage versus Enzo. I knew Brian Cage was going to be in action, but I didn't know it was going to be with Enzo. Yeah. I thought, I thought, uh... Let's go to the next match. Hold on, can I just say my last thing? I thought Row 99 would have given him World Heavyweight Oh yeah, Heavy go ahead, sorry. Mm, Especially no, I think, Kevin uh, I think Brian Cage is in the doghouse. Yeah, I think Cage is a little bit in the doghouse. I think he got himself mostly out of the doghouse. But I think he's still a little bit in from losing to Kevin Owens on SmackDown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that was this matchup. Alright. Alright. We'll see you guys for the main event. Oh, well, we had a feeling this guy would be in the main event. <sighs> Kevin Owens, here he comes. I just, we have no, we have no idea what kind of match Road 99 has set up for him. No, no clue. He's been set up in all these random matches. I actually, I haven't even heard anything from Row 99 tonight. He's been oh. texting me and... Oh, maybe so that's why. Are we actually going to see oh, you guys? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're actually going to see one -on -one you one match? A, a fair one-on-one -on -one match? Has Row 99 finally given in? As Road 99 finally gave Kevin Owens what he wants. Hope you destroy him, Kevin. And as you see these two men... I think Road 99 is uh, becoming very confident after his victory over you. Get getting... Yeah, here we go. Oh, match no. Match to be underway now. I knew, oh, I knew he no. had to trick up his... Too team. good to be true. I knew he had some... Too good to be true, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely. As Edge looks like he's a part of this matchup as well. And again, yeah, right? Edge was also a part of the uh, the six-way matchup bragging rights. He, he did was? pretty well. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, it was him. It was him, Agent Apollo. Yeah, that's right. Kevin Owens in a two-on-one handicap match. Kevin looks very angry. <laughs> but uh, but Road 99 surprisingly starting this match. Yeah, that's actually surprising. I thought... I think because Road 99 knows anytime that Kevin gets offense on him, Edge will be right there. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just... Oh. Road 99 just needs to learn that you don't go through life without, with not fighting. Of the fairway. Yeah. But you know what? Oh, I can't speaking really of fair, was Kevin Owens trying to remove that turnbuckle there? <laughs> like, that's his tag team partner. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. 
Wouldn't you in a two-on-one handicap match like this? Yeah, that's true. I don't know. So far, Kevin is doing decent for himself. Holding his own. Kevin Owens, though, he's been placed with these unfair advantages. Basically, I, I think Kevin's turned face for a, been faced for a while now, to be honest. Yeah. Probably right. You know, when Raw 99 first came around, like, first, first came around into SmackDown, he was liked and because people didn't know what his evil intentions were. Yeah, pe people saw how bad he was on NXT, but no one expected how bad he would be. Oh, no, Ke yeah. Kevin's tapping. I see Kevin tapping. Well, you talk about, you say that every time it, when Raw 99 puts his hold on somebody. I just think trying to tap a way out of it. It just looks like he's tapping, but that's just my point of view. Oh! We go. Oh, man! I mean, event is smacking yeah. on them again with the man. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if. Yeah, I don't know if Road 99 is 100% to be honest, though, after that brutal match with you. I think I, I, think I gave him a good I don't know if Road 99 is up. Uh... I Ooh. think I did. Yeah. I thought I had him when I locked yeah, him. Yeah, sent on there. Off. And another sent no, on. It's um. And here we go. Kevin Owens is really getting uh. Oh my God, that's just uh showing something, showing dominance over your opponent. No. Kevin Owens does not like. Yeah, like. Road 99 and Road 99 does not like Kevin Owens. These two hate each other. Not saying it to be nice. Yeah. Kevin Owens. I think it's more that Kevin Owens now has something that Road 99 wants. You know, I don't think he wants the title, the world title for himself, but I think he wants to put it on someone from SmackDown Elite. I think he just doesn't. I, I just think he doesn't want him on the waist of Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens has been the longest reigning champion in Universe Mode. Yep. Officially, he's been. The longest champion, as he's held the title since SummerSlam. It is now November, ladies and gentlemen. And you can't say anything about Raw because yep. Raw has he's... got new champions last night. Because freaking Goldberg. Freaking yeah, there hasn't been uh, uh, there hasn't really been a big title change since the Ascension. You know, we had Dean Ambrose. Sheamus, but he lost that title right after. There hasn't really been a major title change since that Ascension one against Jeremy. Oh, SmackDown, yeah. Oh, no. Uh-oh. No, Kevin Owens reverses. Kick to the gut. Yes. Here yes, we go. Come He's going to see the pop-up power pop, bomb. Pop-up power oh, bomb. Oh, that's a road One, two, oh, edge right there. Look at there's the numbers advantage right there. Yep. And now row 99 numbers six advantage. advantage. And a northern light suplex to Kevin Owens. One, With a beautiful bridge. Two. Oh. You know what? People were surprised when I kicked out of the KO elbow. Like I remember. Yep. And uh oh, here comes Edge. Oh yeah, just. Yeah, yeah, Kev, yeah, yeah, his hands on Come the ropes. On. His hands on the ropes. Come on, ref. Man. Uh, there we go. I guess he left Edge to pick up the scraps. I guess Raw 99 didn't want to compete anymore. Yeah. Left Edge to pick up the scraps. I'm going to be honest. When, I, when he hit the reverse power, the flip power driver on me. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I went to La La Land. <laughs> yeah, that reverse power driver is a big move. Oh no, but here comes something big too. Oh no. From Kevin Owens. Oh! oh! I think that re injured his neck. Uh, man, yeah, Edge has to be careful with that neck, you know. If, 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 if Kevin Owens get a, get a victory over SmackDown Elite, then I don't know. One, two, oh. If Kevin Owens could get a win over SmackDown Elite, then... Yep. Win or lose, win... Uh, he hasn't really gotten too many of those. 
But he did get one over Cage and very quick and Mojo. time too. And Mojo. He's uh, gotten a few wins over SmackDown Elite. He, and it's really been ticking off. The... Yeah. It really been ticking off Road 99, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I hope you, I, w I wish you could commentate on NXT, not Road 99. Then I wouldn't have to hear them all day. One. Yeah. Two. Oh, that's okay. I can. Well, I feel worse for I. I feel worse for Brett to be honest, because Brett's the one taking all the punishment. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. I just. I get. No, you. You said you hear him like on TV, like. Yeah. Yeah, I get. When, when you I, watch I get, NXT, I get him confused sometimes. I get. I get. I get yeah. stuff confused sometimes. But that's okay because Kevin Owens. You always have my respect, buddy. Oh yeah, and I I know I I don't deal with this directly, but did you hear about the? You hear about NXT Takeover Two? No, when's that happening? The first week of December. Okay. So that's the week right after Survivor Series. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, we'll be get, getting prepared for the tables, ladders, and chairs pay-per-view. Yep. But oh. that's still... That, oh, man. That's still quite a ways away. Yep. So, yep. right now we're in some... Oh, my God. Kevin yep. Owens does not care about, about how much harm he does to the SmackDown Elite. But, um... Yeah, you know, right now, we should be focusing on uh, the importance of a hand is SmackDown right now. So, we should be focusing on SmackDown. Yes, and also, one more thing I was going to say. In two weeks from now, on SmackDown, when I commentate, it will be my birthday, officially. Yeah. So, I'll be celebrating my birthday that night. I wonder if um, Road 99 will do anything special. Yeah, put me in a one handicap match against his henchmen. No thanks. Well, you're kind of under SmackDown contract now, so I guess you kind of got to do what he says, but hopefully that's not what it comes to. I promised him I'd commentate on SmackDown. That's it. I need to rest after that fight. That did some damage on me, and oh. Goldberg did damage on me as well. And Kevin Owens... Oh, well, we all need, uh... And that pump up power bomb! Oh, no! Here we go! One! Oh, two, two times! Oh, Road he just kicked out! And, oh, Road 99's cheap ways! Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> he just gets a stiff knee to the face! Okay. Oh, well, that just... That little oh. distraction... Did you see that? That, that was a, a painful looking landing right there. You know, Kevin Owens has proven to be one of the toughest guys on SmackDown. He's been put through a flaming table. Uh, he's been dominated by SmackDown Elite. Yeah, he's done a lot. Oh! Oh, that but you know what's amazing about him? He still manages. Damn, Much to the dismay. Guy. Yeah. I'm surprised Road 99 hasn't like put him like a six man battle royal. That just seems like so oh spear no reversal. He's going for the spear. But it was reversed into a DDT and now Kevin Owens going for the second one. Oh the kick to the gut. Off the ropes. Oh, second pump up power bomb. One, that could be it. two, three. Oh, Edge kicked out again. I can't believe Edge kicked out again. A second time. Like, how? He's refusing to stay down. Oh, no, he's going for it. Torture rack, neck breaker to Edge. I think Kevin Owens has proven Row 99 wrong here tonight. 
I think I think no matter what Kevin Owens does, he will not get Row 99's respect. Row 99 does not like him, plain and simple. Because Row 99 likes to change things up on SmackDown, but having a guy that's been consistently dominant since before he took over, he, d he just doesn't like it. Yeah. Oh, Edge just reaches the ropes. His hand is tied up to the bottom rope. And, oh, come on, Row 99. Row 99! With that cheap shot. That should cause a disqualification, right, ref? No. Nope. Oh, and Kevin Owens goes to the but top. Edge really. Edge is exhausted. I think Edge is really hurt. Moonsault. Oh no, he's playing possum. Oh, playing a little bit of possum. Oh no, and he's going for it. Oh, oh, that top rope. DDT to Edge. A deadly DDT there. He's going for it. The big power bomb to Edge. Go for the pit on Edge. One, two, and Edge kicked out again. Oh, that big jumping drop kick. And Edge, he's going for it. He's waking Kevin Owens up with the, this could be the spear. Spear by Edge. That's it. That's it. One, two. Oh, Kevin Owens kicked out. What? Holy crap. Edge takes out to Road 99 to pick up the pieces. Oh, no. And look at this. Road 99 is just, just wants to get the greed on him. Like, this is ridiculous, Row 99. Green light driver to Kevin Owens. He's legit. Oh, oh Kevin Owens, though. Oh, this is something that he's wanted. He's already hit it once, but he wants it again. A second pop-up power bomb. Good night. One, two. Oh, my God, Row 99 kicked out. I think it's because row 99 was fresh. He had a long time to sit out. Yeah, that was like the one move that got hit to him, so he had a little bit of time to kick out. Reverse pile driver, no reversal from Kevin! <laughs> it, this is not row 99's night. No, row 99's not having a fun night tonight. Oh, that's a big set. Good night! Oh my god! And he's going for a third. Go for and a And one more time! Third time's a charm! He's got off the ropes, pop up, power bomb. One, two, one, three. Two. Oh, Edge wasn't paying attention. And and Kevin Owens finally gets his hands on row 99, and he pins him in the middle of that ring. Yep. Well, I'm never gonna hear the end of this on NXT. Oh, but you're not on NXT, so you're safe. Oh yeah, I forgot. Again. That's yeah, sorry. I thought the I thought the commentary agreement meant I had to sm comment on all shows, but I realized that NXT is just for Brad, so I apologize. Wow. And I have to say something. SmackDown Elite just lost to a two-on-one match. Yeah. Kevin Owens. I'm never gonna hear the end of this. No. And now that you're on SmackDown, you probably will never either. Yeah, probably not. Alright guys, we got a new formula that we wanted to, that we're gonna do for talking smack. We'll see you guys for talking smack.